What's up guys, in this short tutorial I will show you how to use a custom crosshair in Fortnite. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions then leave a comment and let me know. So first of all, click on the first link in the description to get to this page. Here, select to download the Fortnite crosshair changer. After a few seconds, the file should be downloaded to your downloads folder. Locate the download and unpack the content to your desktop. You can use any unarchiving software, but if you don't have any, then download and install WinRAR or 7-Zip. A link will be provided below. After unzipping the content, open up the Fortnite Crosshair Changer folder. Go to Custom Desktop Logo and double-click the Custom Desktop Logo application. After a second, you should see a brand logo on the bottom right of your screen. Next, navigate to the other Crosshair folder and select a Crosshair you wish to use. If you want to use a custom one, which you found online, or one that you created, then make sure that it's in PNG format and add it to this folder. Next, create a new folder, name it whatever you want, and drop the crosshair into your new folder. Copy the folder, go to Fortnite Crosshair Changer, Custom Desktop Logo, System, and in the Images folder, paste the one that you created. Now that this is done, open up the system tray and double-click the Custom Desktop Logo icon. Here, click on Change Image Folder and select the newly created folder. By now, the brand logo should be replaced by the crosshair you chose. Lastly, go to the Location tab. Leave the Z-Level at topmost in order for the image to be displayed on top of every other application. And in the Display Location section, select Center. If your image is not centered, which you will notice when playing the game, then you can further adjust the X and Y location below. The Size tab lets you adjust the size of your image, and in the Animation and Graphics tab, you can set an FPS value, which is only useful if you have multiple images in the created folder. In your case, you can set it to 1 FPS. Leave the delay as it is, and change the opacity to what works best for you. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.